Hi guys, it's the Mill Tube here, and this is our post-match thoughts video for the 2-1 loss against Rotherham on Monday slash our Huddersfield fan score predictions for the game against them on Saturday. So first of all, let's talk about this Rotherham game, shall we? Now, do we have a lack of quality in our side? Yes. But do we have that much of a lack of quality in our side to the point, you know, we have to try and get a smash and grab win against you know, of all due respect to Rotherham, probably the worst side in championship history. No, we should have taken the game to Rotherham just like we did earlier on in the season when we spanked them 3-0 at home. And yeah, it has come back to bite us in the arse, I suppose. And now we are dragged right back into the relegation mix. So moving on to Saturday against Huddersfield. My word, what a big game this is, of course. Huddersfield are sitting in 22nd place and, you know, we're only four points off the relegation zone. So if Huddersfield win and results go against us, then we could just be seeing, you know, one point off the relegation zone. So in my opinion, anyway, it is just a simply must not lose situation. And to be fair, I don't think we will. I'm going to go for a scoreline of Huddersfield 1, Millwall 1 um, with my club of Femi to get our goal and to be fair I will take that result all day long and unfortunately I won't be there on Saturday so there will be no match day vlog so I'll see you for the post-match thoughts video for the Huddersfield game on Sunday. Come you Lions. Hi my wall tube. Second recording of the Reflections video uh, for yesterday's defeat. Yes, defeat at Rotherham. The first one was just a massive rant and fury which to be fair i think i've got a right to have not as much right as the 900 thousand odd uh, lions fans who made that trip up to deepest yorkshire yet again to see that but i felt like throwing my laptop across the room at the end uh, of the old thing too and if it hadn't have been for uh, the noise it would have made i would have done it anyway Let's try and get uh, a little bit calm and think about the game. We lost it 2-1. They score first with a hopeful swing in the second half, uh, speculative at best, and somehow it goes through Sarkic. It's like he was one of those characters you'd see on Star Trek that used to energise or whatever they called it. It just went straight through him. We equalise, scramble goal on a far post and Ryan Longman eventually gets the last touch, I think. And then we can't even hold on for a point. Just think of that for a minute. We can't even hold on for one point at Rotherham. Yes, Rotherham. Every time I say it, but I'll say it again because I'm trying to be nice to them too. They are a low budget club and they'll always yo yo between League One and the Championship. I've got nothing against their fans. I've been to Rotherham enough times when they were at Millmore and they're very likeable people. But a Championship side, sadly, they ain't. They just haven't got the resources. Yet we couldn't hang on there for a point. And the only good thing I can say out of all of this is, if this is good, uh, the defender on the attacker, Tanganga, he might have been fouled. There's a, it just looks as if he might have been, or he might just have been like the rest of the side, maybe with Ryan Leonard slightly accepted and just not really been up for the challenge, literally in that case. Uh, I can't think of anything more to say, otherwise I'll just go into rant mode this morning, as I did this morning rather. But Neil Harris, if uh, you haven't seen how bad that team is, well, you're going to see it now. Or you've seen it now, rather. And you're going to realise that team has the spine about as thin as Declan Rice on a bad day. But uh, I can't think of anything else to say. I don't want to get abusive. But uh, 
we're back in it, yeah, and we're fighting a relegation uh, battle. And uh, we need to get three points convincingly at Huddersfield next week without any ifs, buts or maybes. We have to get three points. Come on, you Lions. And sorry, Declan Rice.